أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Brothers and sisters in Islam we welcome you to another fresh edition where we are discussing stories of the Holy Quran My name is Yahya D. Muhammad and with me to discuss this important episode is Brother Ibrahim Muhammad Bello Brother, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. In the series of stories of the Holy Quran, the episode before now had a few verses from Surah Al-Luqman where we are looking at the admonitions in Surah Al-Luqman. The verses we were able to look at before the, the time was not on our side were an introduction to the admonition itself, getting to know who Luqman was, his own child, and then um, some of the admonitions he gave to his own child. Inshallah, as we proceed in this special episode, we shall see more of the admonitions and try to learn lessons from them and also try to see how we can imbibe that in our day-to-day -day activities. Without further taking much of our time, I will be inviting Brother Ibrahim Muhammad Bello to flow with us as we look into the stories of the Holy Quran. Brother, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Thank you very much. And like we started earlier in the last episode, we said Luqman the wise was a pious servant of God. He was not a prophet but a pious man that was known in history no. and was mentioned by Allah in Quran. Allahu Akbar. So among the admonitions of no. Luqman to his mm. son, we established that uh, first gratitude to God. Gratitude. No. Do not associate partner with God, which will be a form of ingratitude to God. No. And that after the right of God immediately comes to the, the right of parents. parents. No. But of course, there is a clear line of demarcation be between the right of parents and that right of God. God. No. Theirs is obedience and kindness, where that of God is worship. worship. No. That he established clearly. No. And this is interesting, you know, because it's always good to have a thick line of demarcation no. between obedience to anybody that deserves your obedience, be he a leader or parents, and mm. worship of God. Hmm. Like Ibn al-Qayyim ever say in one of his books, he said, Dillahi haqqun la taja'aluhu li ghayrihi no. wa li abdihi haqqun huma haqqani La taja'alanna al-haqqayni haqqan wahida no. min ghayri tafriqin wa la qurbani You know Ibn al-Qayyim said Allah has gotten rights hmm. and his servants have their own rights too hmm. They are two separate rights no. Never should you mix any of these The rights of Allah and the no, 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 no. He said, liar Jews. No. So, he established this. No. And he went further to establish the conscience of God. Mm. That, look, whatever you think you do, however small it is, wherever you may be, mm. wherever it is hidden, God knows about it, however small, and wherever it is hidden. Ya bunaya inna ha intaku mithkala habbati min khardalin fatakun fi sakhratin au fi samawati au fi ardi Ya tibi Allah no. It's wonderful Allah, cool. Even if it weighed the size of the grain of a mustard seed mm. Hidden somewhere in the rock or in the heavens or on the earth mm. Allah will bring it forward in the day of judgment mm. Inna Allah latifun khabir mm. Now he went further he said mm. Ya bunaya oh mm. my son yeah. Akim is salah is now come to worship, service to God. That's the next admonition. Yes. No. Establish prayers mm. on time no. and appropriately. No. Wa amuru bil ma'aruf. No. And enjoy what is good. Mm. Wanha anil munkar and forbid what is wrong. No. Wasbir ala ma asabak. Mm. And be patient no. on whatever afflicts you. In Nazalika Lamin Azmil Umur. No. Verily, the last one being patient on whatever will afflict or befall you is mm. one of the difficult instincts that de de deserve you know serious mm. struggle mm. and efforts. No. Now look at it. Establishing prayers. Mm. Yes, of course. 
Because that's your link and relationship to God. And of all the forms of worship, prayer is unique because mm. it has all forms of way of gratifying and praising God. Mm. And you need to always renew your relationship with God because the world of, is full of distractions. Mm. That's why we have prayers at interval of mm. different times. No, that, nowadays you see parents do not even care if they have, their children have observed salat or not. Mm. That, that, that's the mistake and they need to learn from Lukuman. Mm. Don't forget that the first forms of prayer given to Prophet Muhammad mm. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam were 50. Mm. That's how frequently God wants us to relate with him mm. in a day. Mm. And because the Prophet knew our weakness, mm. Musa pleaded, Musa knew our weakness, mm. He advised the Prophet to go seek reduction mm. from God and yeah. it came to five prayers. Allah, because the world is full of distractions. Mm. If at intervals we don't go to renew our relationship mm. with God, we might be too carried away from That's the essence of our existence. Mm. So he said, Akim is Salah. No. Wa amur bil ma'aruf wan ha anil munkar. No. Enjoying what is good and forbid what is bad. No. Because as a rule, no. enjoying what is good and forbidding what is bad is like washing clothes. Your mm. hands get neat first before the clothes you wash. No. So for any responsible person, mm. you don't tell people to do what you yourself are not seen doing. No. You don't forbid people from doing what you yourself no. don't no. desist from. No. So it means asli nafsaka kabla and tusliha ghairak. No. Meaning? Correct yourself first. Put no. yourself in shape no. before, you. before you check others. No. So this is what he told him. And he knows, mm. in case you want to do that, mm. enjoy what is good, Forbid what is bad, take people away from the status mm. quo, you may face challenges. No. They may insult you, they may castigate you, they may hurt you. No. See what the Prophet suffered with mm. their people. Mm. And so that is what he told him that was bir alama asabak. Hmm. You are likely to face challenges, you are likely to be afflicted. So when, but, when you come to give ad, ad, admonition on what is good and what is bad, you are likely to have challenges. Challenges, of course, with of course, of course. Some people will listen to you. And that's why he said, some was will alama aswabak. No. Definitely something will happen. Definitely, of course. God will test you with them. No. God will test you so with them just like God has tested, tested them you, so. with mm. you. With you. No. So, and he said, that last so, one, in nazalika min azmil umur, is one of the things that are the most important. No. So establishing prayers alone, yes, relax without amru bil ma'roof and nahi anil munkar does not make an individual a complete person. Of course, uh, because the essence is not you alone. Don't mm, forget, mm, if you are the only right pious person mm, among these believers, you nah. suffer more. Allah, so but you need to engage. In yes, you need to expand. You invite others to get to others to appreciate what you do now and that has always been the role of the prophets mm. and then you prepare your mind that yeah you because likely if, to if you are the only most knowledgeable person mm. among people that are unlettered no. or illiterate or ignorant you suffer more no. because most of the things they do to you is actually ignorantly no. so this he has established okay. relationship with god now no. then he said mm. وَلَا تُسَيْ إِرْ خَدَّكَ لِلنَّاسِ وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرْحَا This is another point of admonition. This is another point of admonition. No. Don't raise your cheek when you speak to people arrogantly. You know, this one mm. is, there are things that are like parable, mm. but they mean to say, don't be arrogant. Mm. You know, one of the ways of showing somebody is not respectful is when you speak to him, he, res he responds with mm. his face somewhere and his eyes up. So mm. you only see his cheek and head. Okay. Allah no. said, don't do that to people. No. Don't be arrogant. No. Be humble. No. And do not walk on land with insolence and arrogance. Mm. You walk with pride, mm. you know, and all sort of majesty you as if you're the king of the God. Mm. As if the earth will punch down just because mm. you match it. Mm. Allah no. said, don't do that. No, Verily, Allah does not love people who are muhtal, arrogant, mm. for who boastful and proud. Mm. But interestingly, yeah. even the way you talk to people, the way you walk, yeah. run. Yes, that is wonderful. Like and if we are to expantiate this verse alone, it takes a lot. Mm. Allah tell you how you relate with people. And mm. the Prophet sallallahu exemplified this. Mm. He said, Tawada will be humble when you relate. No. It is in report that when the Prophet sallallahu is called upon by mm. anybody, he said, Labaik, no. not minding your age or status. No. 
But some other people, somebody called and said, Hey, is it me that you are calling? <laughs> that you should talk to me. Mm-hmm. The prophet yes, wasn't like that. Because no, Allah said, no. La tu sakhir khadaka no. nas. No. And then you walk with mm. humility. But no. humility doesn't mean you should walk as if you are sick. No, 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 no. no. But walk normally mm. but without anything showing pride and in the way you walk. You should also not be too fast. Yeah, of course, of course. Walk. We can't get to that. No. Lukman said that too. Mm. He said, In Allah, Allah, you hibu kulla muhtalim fakhur. No. Now, the, the last admonition he gave, mm. because time is not allowing us to expansiate more, no. he said, Wa qasidi fi mashika. No. Wa hududu min sautika. Mm. Be moderate in the way you walk. Mm. And lower your voice. Qadr ma yusmi usami u. Only speak to people to the extent that will benefit the person that you want to speak to or hear. No. You don't speak too loudly mm. and you don't walk too fast. No. But it's not only about speaking, it's even about the quality of what you say. Don't be vulgar. Mm. Don't say things that are too sensitive, mm. things that are off point, mm. things that are indecent. There should be decorum no. in what you in say, what you say mm. and mm. even how you walk. No. This is what it means. No. Allah say, Inna ankar al aswati la sautul hamid. Verily, no. the worst, the most detested mm. of all sounds is the brain of a donkey. Subhanallah. So, meaning, the brain of donkey is detested because of how foul it is. Mm. So, don't allow people to like hate you mm. and run away from you. They don't like you again because of the indecent. Mm. Okay, and the vulgar words coming out of you. Don't forget the Prophet Sallallahu said, mm. "Inna shara nasa manzilatan inda Allahi yawm al qiyama man tarakahu nasu ittika afushi." No. Verily, people whose position will be worse in the hereafter in the mm. sight of God no. are those who others desist and run away from them. Subhanallah. Because of the vulgar mm. and the indecent, mm. you know, words that no. come out of their mouth. So you can see that Lukman admonishes his son, mm. he tells him who God is, build mm. his Akida, establish God consciousness, mm. tell him to worship, mm. enjoy good, be patient, mm. you know, re- how to relate with others mm. and to be mannerful in his own self as a person. These are words in gold. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Brother Ibrahim Muhammad Bello. Um, it is unfortunate that we have to take this little time out and to return so that we have a summary of what these admonitions are from verse 12 to verse 19 of Quran chapter 31. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us for what we have had. Inshallah we shall be going for a very short break. Until we return, please stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.